Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back on the front porch. We're gonna be giving this a refresh in our Amer Americana decor, which I'm super excited for. I truly have never really did a whole bunch of decorating in Americana, but this year, I really wanted to focus on my front porch and um, really embrace that theme. Um, since we have we just had Memorial Day and then we have 4th of July coming up but here's a glimpse of the items we're going to be using today and a few of them are some new pieces so I'll be sure to let you know where they're from um, but I'm so glad to have you here and I hope you enjoy this refresh as you can see I've got everything cleared off my front porch all of my spring decor that I had there and we are starting putting by, by putting these pillows in my rocking chairs and I just wanted to, like I said, do a refresh here and get ready for um, the 4th of July and kind of just, I've, I've kind of learned this year to embrace that Americana theme. I think it honestly screams summer to me as well. Um, just because when you think of that, you're thinking of 4th of July, you're thinking of the holidays, you're thinking of summer vacations and um I was super excited to really embrace this this year and get my porch all ready. So I hope you guys enjoy. So sit back and enjoy. So these pillow covers um, or seat cushions that I'm using, they are some that I previously had and I just shopped my home for those and thought they would be perfect out here um, and go along well with the theme. Um, I want you to notice though, I went ahead and put these um, seat covers in and after I got them placed in the rockers because I had cleaned everything prior and I went ahead and put these in there I started thinking oh my gosh I forgot I had purchased a um, rug an outdoor rug to go on the front porch so I'm like oh no and I didn't want to remove them so I just um had Dean to help me take everything off and then I remembered I need to go get that rug and put it down so here I went and cleared everything off so I could put the rug down and I actually purchased this rug from Aldi and it was only like $14.99 I think it was and it's not super big or anything fancy but I thought for $14.99 and it's going on the front porch I thought it will do the trick and I think it turned out great it was navy blue and I love the trimming on it um and they had several different colors um they and I actually have a yellow one like this so I'm looking forward to kind of switching that out and um but I thought this navy blue went perfect for the theme that I was going with um they had a black they had um like a teal blue color um, but it was from Aldi and it was only $14.99 so now you see me going back and adding the furniture pieces back on the front porch after I had to get the rug down um, but so that's why you kind of saw things kind of go out of order for a minute because I just completely forgot I had purchased that um, a couple weeks back um, but I hope you guys enjoy this and while you're watching take the time please comment below let me know where you're watching from if this is your first time welcome <clears throat> I'm so thankful to have you here and I'm truly truly grateful for all of you for my returning um, subscribers you know I'm always thanking you guys and um, I look forward to sharing this space with you because it's just a place where we can all unwind enjoy gain some motivation and inspiration from each other and just create a positive space so with that being said, please <clears throat> drop a comment below, excuse me, and let me know where you're watching from um, because I love to learn more about you. Um, but here I just started going in with these pretty pillows, um, the actually pillow covers um, that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And um, they were recently 40% off um, from Hobby Lobby. And I think I ended up only paying like $3 and something for those pillow covers um, each. They only came one in a pack. So I picked up that. And this little, little canvas picture here also came from Hobby Lobby, which was super cute. And I just went inside and grabbed a little wooden box something I could use as a riser just to make it look a little bit higher on this table but just um take the time 
watched and enjoy this video as I bring in my different decor pieces. actually cut it from my rose bush that's in my yard um, because it is blooming so beautifully and I just wanted to add a little pop of color there in that little watering pitcher and I thought hey what better way I think it goes well with the pitcher behind it so that's why you see me with the scissors there because I had literally just cut it from my rose bush and thought it just added a little pop of color there in that watering pitcher and I love the way it turned out Okay, now moving over to the door, I wanted to take the moment to get this all cleaned up because of course there was a bunch of little fingerprints and handprints in this door um, because my little one, bless her heart, she, she cannot go out the front door without sticking her hand right in the middle of it and I'm all the time saying just use the door handle. You don't have to stick your hand in the actual glass but she can't help it she comes out and it's like she uses the door handle but that other hand it goes right in the middle as she's opening it pushing it open <laughs> so I just want to take the minute to get it all cleaned up and hey if you're on the market looking for some new glass cleaner this spray away is my go-to I absolutely love this spray away glass cleaner it is amazing I love it because it does not leave hardly any streaks behind. It cleans up well and this comes out in like a foam form when you spray it. But it wipes and cleans up very well. So next time you're picking up some glass cleaner, try this spray away and tell me what you think about it. I love it. Um, but here I am. I'm just going in with some new placemats here that I'm going to layer. I've got this red and white one. And then I just went right on top of it with this doormat both were from Hobby Lobby and were on their 40% off discount and I also picked up this canvas um I'm sorry not canvas this door hanger wooden door hanger from Hobby Lobby as well and I'll be sure to try to link all of this below because it was on in their 40% off sale and this time I decided instead of doing a wreath to just do that that door hanger um, and I thought it turned out great but this is how everything pretty much turned out. I loved it. I think it's um, not too much, but it's just enough. Um, but tell me, do you decorate for um, the 4th of July? Or do you kind of just stick to your summer decor throughout the whole season? Do you embrace this time? I know some people say that is their go-to summer decor, is to use the red, white, and blue. Um, or... 
do you just kind of do whatever your theme is and kind of stick to that throughout the whole summer season? Um, but let me know. And um, But last up, guys, I was getting ready to change out my flag here. And I take this down and I had just bought a new um, American flag from Lowe's. But you're going to see me in just a minute when I took this off to get ready to change it out. I realized as I'm getting ready to try to put the new one up, the new American flag, that I had picked up the wrong one. This one was the one that just had the two ring holes where you can cl um, clip the little clear pieces on. It wasn't the one, the banner one that slides through the pole. So I had to stop the video, run back to Lowe's really quick and switch that out. Thankfully, they did have the actual banner ones left. So you kind of see me backtrack here. Um, but then this is the correct one. So I did have to take a moment and pause and run to Lowe's and get the correct one. And um, but that wraps up this video, guys. This video is short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys back here soon. Bye, guys. You're gone now. Will you call me back? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart you